Jolly good morning, everybody. Good morning. Aren't we refreshed? Oh, we are. We mm -hmm. are, Mazzy. Yep. Back in England. Mm. Now, we've just spent three wonderful nights in a Premier Inn. Yep. To mm. recuperate. Um, it is called <laughs> Premier Inn Portsmouth Havant South. And it has got a little carvery stroke pub stroke restaurant next door Beautiful. called Langbrook Farm Dining and Carvery. Honestly, <laughs> so, highly, highly recommend. Yeah. If you are getting off the ferry, um, yeah. highly advise this, don't we? Yeah, it wasn't too far because we couldn't get into a campsite. The campsites were far anyway and it was dark so we had to go somewhere yes it was dark we knew we knew we were coming here we booked it didn't we yeah i think it was about um, 15 20 minutes drive from the ferry yep and, and we've eaten there every single night so we, we feel really good now <laughs> night one fish and chips yeah night two we Carvery. had sunday carvery yep not sunday but a carvery, carvery. um and yesterday you had like a carvery, carvery bap, bap. And I had another carvery. Yeah. <laughs> and cake. And cake. cake. The cakes are incredible. Oh, all homemade. Honestly, Beautiful. if you just want to relax for a few days after a, yeah. you know, after a furry ride, which can be quite hard, can't yeah. it? Yeah. Highly recommend coming here. Highly. So three wonderful nights. Three amazing nights. <laughs> and we didn't film any of it. We didn't. We didn't. No. Right. Um, we're moving on. Yes. I'm just going to get this out of the way now and then we're never going to mention it again. The haters. What? Oh, we're not going no, down I, that I have road. to just do this. Um, what we have to do from now on is not put the videos up until we've left that place. Because mm. we're still getting death threats and stuff. Um, always had them. Don't care. Always not scared. Not yeah. scared. But we're not going to invite it. We're going to film, do us filming, move on and uh, then post the videos from now on. Avoid it, right. On top of that... Oh, you ain't finished yet. <laughs> I haven't finished. On top of that, thank you to everybody who did report all them videos oh, and nasty yes. comments. There is no longer any nasty videos on YouTube about us or other van lifers. Other van livers. Because the channels have been shut down. So well done to Everybody. one and all. Yeah. Really appreciate it's it. It's just bullying. It's bullying. It is bullying. I'm sure they'll be back yeah. with a new channel. Yeah. Um, that channel yeah. won't come back as it is because uh, it has been taken off and they're not going to allow them back. And if they come back. back, they'll be taken down again. Yes, they will. Yeah. <laughs> um, is that the end of them? That now? is the end of them. Yes. Let's move on. 2023, back in England. Yay! We're off to our first campsite anyway. Yes! <laughs> and Tesco's! We're going yes! to Tesco's for the first time in three months. Oh, looking forward to this. Oh, yes. Why? <laughs> Thank you, Premier Inn. Thank you very much. And once again, highly recommend this um, Langbrook Farm Place. Absolutely beautiful meals and the staff were wonderful. So we've actually had quite good weather since being back. <clears throat> I say good, but it's like four degrees now and we were having four degrees just before we'd left Spain really. So it wasn't much of a culture shock, was it? I think we were expecting it to feel really cold here. Yeah. Because we were expecting it. It doesn't actually feel that bad. No. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Just no sun, that's the only thing. <laughs> and some places in England at the moment have got minus three, so we're very lucky. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah, I know places at minus four, so yeah. Not bad weather at all. Our van has officially done 60,000 and nearly three miles. I was I'm trying to remind myself to put the camera on when it hit 60,000, so I'm a little bit over. That's not bad, is it, for the years we've had it? We're 24 when we got it. I thought it was 26. 24, sure. I think it was 26, but yeah, still not bad. Had it for what, four and a half years? Just over now? And it's never let us down, really, is it? When? We made it. We made it onto campsite. Do you like oh, it? That's been a day and a half, hasn't it? <laughs> Tesco's. Biggest Tesco we've ever been in. Been to, yeah. Not yeah. sure where we were. It was quite good. 
It was good. It was good. So, mm -hmm. um, first problem though, the woman scanned me John Smith's twice. So I've paid, um, how much are the £16, 16 pounds times pay. two. So not happy at all. Yeah. And well, we had another incident in Tesco's as well. We had a couple. We? You know them where they started doing home, delivery. home deliveries and they go around with them big trolleys, the staff, and they're just getting you way, don't they? There's no room they're for rudely, shoppers anymore. But they're rudely, rudely about it, yeah. She had her gammon in her hand thinking, oh, I might buy this, and she just put it down looking at it. And the woman, one of them women, a yeah. Chinese one, just came she over came and grabbed and it in grabbed front. It. Grabbed and it while she was looking at it. And she looked at me, she was like, oh, oh, I thought you didn't want it. And I was like, it's OK, you can have it, but I really... And I was going to swear then. Unbelievable. They think, because they're doing <laughs> deliveries and going around with a shopping basket, they don't have to be polite. And it was the last gammon there, wasn't yeah. it? I had to actually bend down, get right under the shelf, because I spotted it. So and not... I thought, at 3 49 I'm going to buy that. Nope, straight out me hand. So we're not having gammon tonight. <laughs> what did we get to eat? Well, you got leftovers from a doodah. All I got was like a panini and a sandwich. Where's me enchiladas? That's what I'm having. You, you're not eating these leftovers? I don't know. I'm not sure about that yet. But I got some... Yeah, big bros. Wicked Kitchen Big Brothers Enchiladas. I just thought they looked nice, so I've gone for them. Tomorrow we're going to have... Tacos. Tacos. Very similar, but I don't care. Taco shells and taco kitty thing. And we found this. We've never seen these before. Yeah. Korean barbecue meal kit. So you just add chicken and peppers or something to that. That could be interesting. Uh, look at the cake Mazzy got yesterday. <laughs> That now, isn't... believe it or not, <laughs> I've had I've had this much of it. This is a one slice. One of cake. slice. Just show it sideways. Yeah. One slice. Four ninety nine from that pub we showed you. Yeah. Unbelievable. Chocolate fudge cake. I had uh, an eclair, the biggest <laughs> eclair you've ever seen it was in your like life. That. It was huge. Again, four ninety nine. <laughs> Amazing food there. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm not going to show you the meal because it looks disgusting because it's not. Uh, Once that's warmed up. But it's basically, what is it, like chickeny bits and Chicken. chips and chips. a nice peppercorn sauce or something. So we've got some nice, nice. foods. We're going to start eating yeah. in the van again now. Yeah. Um, we've had us fun eating out all the time. You've got to pack a real bacon, didn't you? Real bacon. Not <laughs> pretend bacon. I've got some real milk as well. Today. Real milk. <laughs> Not pretend milk. Uh, Mazza got some more tops. Because we're needing some... We haven't got winter clothes on us. Um, all mine are just shirts, apart from one or two tops. And also, we have a mountain of washing in the boot. We do. Never we, mind. So we don't. We're running low on clothes. <laughs> We've got a load of clothes. So all I've really got for warm, warm is is this thing here, which is a furry liner, like a coat thing. So that's pretty cool. And I've got three or four of these weird fish tops which are very good but they're not warm enough to go out just in a weird fish top so what did i buy mazzy do you want to show them what i got you know what you're wearing can't you tell look at me how beautiful am i do I, can i swirl just put it down a touch so i can swirl show them pockets swir swirling it looks like the exact same jacket you have in the wardrobe i like this <laughs> it's light but it is warm I can wear this on top of them jumpers and it was only eight, uh, 17 pound 50, 18 pounds reduced from 37 so yeah. i'm very happy with that 29 18. yeah it's reduced from 29. oh sorry that's euro yeah sorry 37 euros is not 29 pounds no no <laughs> yeah so right i'm gonna settle in yeah okay i'll take them outside just for a tick because I know they want to see me in the light as well because I'm looking fantastic. I really am, aren't I? No, I quite like I I do like this. Not often I buy myself a jacket. So uh, there's a gate here. This is why we've parked here. There's a gate there which takes us into town. Fantastic. 
uh, rather than go all the way down there and out of the main thing. So this is the place. Very nice. We'll go into it in more detail tomorrow and reveal where we are. You all have a wonderful evening. We're just going to chill now. Uh, sort out the van. We've got all this unpacking to do from the hotel. We're back. We're back. Travelling in a van. In England. I'm happy. It's the next morning. Good morning to one and all. It's about 11am. And we are, we are walking into a very, very... Um, Upmarket. Upmarket area. <laughs> this place is known as Henley on Thames. <laughs> it's very nice. We haven't been in yet, but we drift through, didn't we, yesterday? We've never been here. <laughs> never. Never no. really heard of it, apart from Henley Rowing, which it's yeah. famous for. Um, it's also famous for lots of other things, which I'll go into later. Yes. Um, <laughs> but the average house price here, are you ready for this? Uh, £748,000. Three quarters of a million. Wow. The average. But a lot of these are better than that, aren't they? So That's <laughs> incredible, isn't it? Money, yeah. So, we're really hoping to get some right <laughs> cool stuff in the charity shop. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks a really nice place as we were driving through. Yeah, I'm really surprised nice. our travels have never brought us in this direction before. Yeah. Because we have done pretty much all over Britain. Uh, so yeah, really enjoy. We're gonna look forward to this one. Yeah. Hey, the only downside so far, and it's as usual, is the traffic. Yeah. Constant traffic. It might be better once we're in the town as such, but. Um, what we have to look out for today is a blue plaques on walls because oh, there must be some mazzy. The amount yeah. of famous people who come from here is incredible. Um, so there's got to be blue signs on doors where people lived. Uh, I'll give you one little... Shall I tell them one now? Yeah. Is it the one that I just cannot get out of my head? Yep. Boris Johnson. <laughs> Boris Johnson comes from here. And every time I'm looking up the road, I keep thinking, is that him in his car? Is that his house? I don't think he lives here now. No, I know. I know. He might have been born here, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, honestly, the list of famous people, now, all I can think of is because it's an upper-class place, um, people get an helping hand in life, so they've more chance of becoming rich and famous. That's my take on it. I'm not getting involved. <laughs> we had this discussion. We did. We did. Ooh, houses. Oh, houses. House prices. House pr oh, they haven't even any prices <laughs> on them. Look at that. Grade 2 listed Georgian house. Look at this. I'll have two of them. And one of these. Just one of these. We won't have to be greedy. No, that's not grade listed, Mazzy. Not interested in that Beautiful. one. Beautiful! <laughs> wow! Yeah, that's what we're up against today. Nothing but every single one of them is just beautiful, detached. Swimming pool, this one. Look, look he's got a lake. But... Yeah, I don't like pointing in, Mazza, because they're all staring at us I in the shop. I don't mind. Do what we want. <laughs> right, straight across if we can get past yeah, the traffic. And there's a lovely, what looks like, what is this? Teddy shop, is it? Teddy shop. Oh, how cute. Oh, look. Teddy bear shop. World famous teddy bear shop. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's got, like, the Henley bear. Henley rowing, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful little pub there, the bull. I'm guessing that's all fake, though, Mazzy. What do you think? All the green hanging oh, down green. stuff? Uh, possibly. It looks fake. It's still not in here. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to enjoy it here. Yes. We haven't decided whether to stay another day yet. Yeah, we'll have to see, we'll see. see how we feel. Because yesterday, we, we booked in for two nights and yesterday was a bit of a wasted day because By the time we was travelling there. Outside, yeah. <laughs> so, we'll see, we'll see. So just to give you an idea then, you've got this house here. 
you know, it's all right, it's nice. But 1.1 million pounds. And this one's one and a half million pounds. And that's just a terrace. That one's 2.2. 2.2, you know. No, it's two and a half million. <laughs> right, this is more us, Mazzy. Oh my God, look at that. It's no roof, <laughs> it's falling to bits. 600,000 pounds. <laughs> Like just an average little cottage look over a million. Oh, that's not average, that's nice. That's average. 525,000. Look at this on the lakes, that seems cheap. Yeah, you've got lake, lodges here, look. Oh, that looks kind of like the lodge lake place we yeah. went to, doesn't yeah. it, actually? Like, that is very terracy, isn't it? This is what would cost you. Up my end, about ninety thousand pounds, four hundred and ten thousand pounds here. <laughs> On an expensive day. <laughs> Even the shops are all uh, sort of, I want to say boutiquey, but. Oh, stay tuned as well, by the way. Why? Uh, hoping to take you to a very famous grave as well while we're here. Oh, okay. In fact, that's the church there, Mazzy. Oh, okay. You just see it in the distance. Oh yes, it does mean he's going to be singing. <laughs> Little hint. <laughs> the old bell. Henley's oldest building apparently. Apparently. <laughs> you know, everywhere else in the in the country they, they're going about Shakespeare. Here they don't, they're going about someone called Breakspear. Yeah. Who's Breakspear? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Looks nice though. I bet it's from Henley. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Found a sweet shop. It seems to be all American stuff. Mr. Sims. All different things, but I've just seen some of Mazzy. Yeah. Cheetos, a bag of Cheetos. Now, how much is a bag of Cheetos? Someone tell us. What do you reckon? A pound? Quite Two a, pound? No, no, no. Two pound fifty? No, they're quite a bit of money. Seven pounds ninety-nine for a bag of crisps. Let's see how much the tweet. Oh, ten pence when I were a kid. Seven ninety-nine for a bag of crisps. Guess how much the Twinkies are. Go on. Nine ninety-nine for a Twinkie. For a box of Twinkies. Wow. It is like America, you've got your goldfish and everything. There. I don't want it to come from Mars at them prices. <laughs> Jesus. Covered in gold. Yeah. Uh, if you are still with us watching this, by the way, congratulations on getting through the meteorites last night, which oh, yeah. uh, we thought were going to end the world. We couldn't sleep, could we? No, I did want to go out and it was got to about half 11 and I think finally I fell asleep. I think it were half <laughs> 12 it would you to come past. Yeah, yeah. So we've come into this like squarey bit. There's Police. the church down there, straight at the bottom. Oh yeah, it's, we've sort of come to a crossroads, so we're going to go up here first. Town Hall by the look of it. This is an interesting place behind us. Planet Organic. Try something organic for four times the price. You know why I said to feel that, don't you? Why? It's all plant food based food, yeah. Ah, oh, plant. Right, okay. Let's talk about your meal last night. <laughs> the wicked one. Yeah, I got some enchiladas. I knew it didn't look right. Tasted like Encha cardboard. <laughs> it was just cardboard, it was disgusting. It turned out it was vegan. It was vegan. It was all plant based. There was no meat in it. How can you have an enchilada without meat? Didn't even have cheese. I had to put cheese on top thinking that'll make it nice. But oh, it was horrible. You couldn't eat it, could you? No. <laughs> horrible. Oh, this looks nice. Bread shop, look, Gales. There is some, honestly, the shops here are fantastic. Yeah. If you get in this area, come here, it's it's worth it. There's a lovely looking butcher's down there we're going to have a look yeah, at. Yeah, definitely, that looks really nice. An amazing looking but, um, <coughs> bakery here with lovely breads inside. There's your town hall. Some bread there. Looking very nice. Them there, you see them bapped? It's white sourdough. White sourdough, bap, yeah. same thing. Um, £4.15. Look at the Oxfab look now, that's, that's a second hand shop in it. That's nice. Yeah, very nice. Right, if we're near Oxfam then, all the other charity shops are up there. This is the only one which is further out. Well, let's do this one then. It doesn't look like there's much more up there, does there? Look at this cute little door, look. Oxfam, oh yeah. Oh. Oxfams are expensive in Keithley, Will let you alone stop in Henley. Moaning. Yeah, that's a nice door. Yep, yeah, let's go have a look in his first charity shop. 
fantastic little locks firm shop. The lady in there was so sweet as well, wasn't she? So we did get a couple of bits, didn't we? Yep. Well, I got two bits, you got one thing, so... I got some... They're a bit like cord trousers, brown ones, but they're but not cord. Softer material, really They're not nice. like lines going down. They're nice. We'll do a haul when we get home, yeah, maybe. Yeah, a bit different. Um, yeah. The things in there, some of the things were fantastic, but there was, like, one shirt, and I just looked... It just caught my eye straight away. It was like yeah. a 60s with daisies on it, 60s look. It was, I was lovely. I like, oh, that's nice. Out of all the shirts, yeah. and I picked the designer one. It was £90 from an Italian <laughs> designer one. Um, yeah, my, but they did have some lovely upmarkets. I, I got a jacket thing, and that, that's a sort of decent brand. I'm sure that is. But we'll show everything when we get back. And a beautiful woolen waistcoat, which I would have normally got last yeah. year. But I don't know if I'm going to be going into that style this year. We'll see. That was 20 quid, wasn't it? It was worth it, because yeah, I paid that for the last one, didn't I? They are sort of worth that anyway. So do you want to cross the road and just have a look over here and then go down this side? Yeah, now? let's do that. <laughs> so this, I'm guessing, is the town hall. Yeah. Do we really need to cross over? Well, to get, I just wanted to see like these little old um, cottages down here. All right, OK. Yeah. Nice looking pub, the Argyle. Look at these, I like these. It's, oh, it's painted on, absolutely beautiful. It just makes it so different. And it's got an open, roaring fire in there. What's it called? Ale, cider and food? No, it's not The Argyle. Oh, is it? I like this though, look. Come and look here, like you can buy vouchers, yeah? You can buy, let's say, a five... 500 pound yeah. voucher. But you're getting it for only 300, see the offers. I think that's not bad, is it? Well, that's... A, you know, if this is your local town... What kind town, of day out's that going to be? No, but if this is your local town, you could just literally have this massive voucher and keep going there, couldn't you? You I could, but you don't know the price of a pint. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably the same as anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. Outside the butchers here, look what they've got on offer. Pheasant, mallard, partridge, pigeon, venison, grouse, guinea fowl and quail. Wow, you don't get that in um, the village. I've never eaten, any apart from venison, I've never eaten any of them. Look how beautiful this, this is. You can't sort of see it from here, can Gabriel you? Gabriel Matching, traditional fine foods, looks really nice. Massive queue as well. I bet they've had a few awards, haven't they? Gold Award, South East England Sausage. Home of the champion, champion. sausage. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a lovely building, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. It's hard to show now, though, really. I don't really understand the name. Oh, Gabrielle, maybe that was the owner of it. Yeah. Three tons pub. I'm not seeing. No. no one had an open fire. They don't do John Smith's. <laughs> I haven't seen John Smith yet. The amount of ski gear. Yes. All the charity shops are full of skis and ski clothes. Yeah, another one here. But, um. Oh, a charity they're, shop. They're a good price though. Not skis? Yeah, because uh, there are kids that, you know, might have a school trip and have to buy all the gear, you know? And, Quite cheap in there, really, isn't they? But you can't use skis. Well, you do if you're going in skiing. Henley. <laughs> but why there's a lot of skis here, I don't know. Think it, you'd think it would have been rowing stuff, mm. wouldn't you? <laughs> and a little tip. Yeah. If you're going to have a shop, don't sell Man United tops because no anyone who doesn't spot Man United is then going to not buy anything and in that shop. I wanted to walk straight out. Didn't they? Yes. Go in there. And I did. Check that out for an antique shop. Have you seen what's in the top window, Mazzy? There's yeah. upside down bums. Upside down bums, yeah. <laughs> That's very nice. Tudor house. Still haven't seen any uh, blue plaques. No. Oh, look at these. Doom bar. No, no John Smiths. No John Smiths. What's wrong with this town? Because no one else likes John Smiths, only you. No. <gasps> Henley on Thames ashtray there, look. So why is that Brakes beer? Is that a beer, an ale then? Brakes beer? I don't know. Must be an ale or it something. It might be. It? Oh, look at these skulls here. £45, £55 for a skull. Mm. What a lovely shop though. But look at this. this. Haven't we seen stuff like this before? 
like proper posh oh. ready. You love this, don't you, Ben? Right, I think we should do it for tomorrow night. But in here, yeah. And get ourselves a meal for tomorrow night. They're all prepared by hand. You know these freezers where you get really posh, wonderful meals? I'll try and film inside, but we'll see, we'll see. We should go in there. Yeah. Moroccan spiced chicken, Mazzy. Harissa chicken looks nice. I don't know what harissa it? means. No, I, I don't. Want it. Peas and leeks. Oh, red cabbage. Yum, yum, yum. 20% off as well until Tuesday. <gasps> now that sounds nice. Beef bogging on, however you say that. They're the kind of meals me and Dan like. Oh, chicken Dijon, look. Dijon chicken, lovely. <laughs> 30 Can't pence. wait. Can't wait. What a bargain that was, 18 what, 30 pounds. 30 pence? 30p for the bag. 18 pounds for a meal for two, and we've got loads of stuff. We'll show you when we get home. You know, like roast things. Yeah. Mash. We'll show you when we and get meal home. Yeah. yeah. It's called Cook. Yeah. We've and seen these before. We have seen them we? before, but we've never bought anything, have we? No, I think we have. The odd time. Have we? The odd, odd time, yeah. But yeah, looking forward to that. So that's, that might have to be tonight's tea, actually. I think I prefer because that now then. Some of, some of the things we got are reduced, so we probably need eating. But they're all frozen, so mm. that don't matter anyway. But yeah, I quite fancy it now. What we're going to do is show you the rest of Henley tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> Keep you in suspense because there's still lots to show and lots to discuss and famous people we haven't told you about who come yes. from there. And I've still got to sing. <laughs> super thanks. Big super super thanks. Can we please give a massive thank you to Mad Jack 815. Thank you, Mad Jack. Thank you, Mad Jack. Peter Webster. Thank you, Peter. Alan and Eileen. Thank you, Alan and Eileen. And Briele. Thank you, Anne. Dante Transfers. Thank you, Dante Transfers. Tony and Lynn. Thank you, Tony and Lynn. Fire Gooey. Fire Gooey. Janet. Thank you, Fire. The Kayak Dread Girl. Oh, Janie. Uh, Janie, sorry. Sorry, I read it wrong. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Janie. My God, when, when do we meet her? Camp creator, wasn't it? I reckon about two years two, ago. One and a half years ago She's now, the yeah. most loveliest girl ever. Go over and check out her channel, Kayak Dread Gal. She does all like, uh, well, she's got a built little van, but she does like all the narrow boats she just now bought a narrow well. boat, hasn't she? Yeah. Uh, Gla <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. I think I've got this right. Glax 1001. Thank you, Glax. Uh, Anne Phillips. Thank you, Anne. And Gaz and Chaz. Thank you, Gaz and Chaz. Happy birthday, Chaz, who is now 60. Happy birthday, Chaz. Hope you're feeling better as well. 60, I wow. I don't know why. I always thought Gaz and Chaz were quite a young. A young couple. I don't know why I thought that Probably as because well. Jack, Gaz, because it doesn't say It's quite a trendy couple and, name, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so massive thank you to you guys. Happy birthday. Right. Um, going back to what we did buy in this video, let's yes. give you a quick rundown. Firstly, I want to talk about clothes. Now, <laughs> I literally bought one thing. Yeah. Will you hold this for it me? It seemed like you bought quite a few, really, but it turned out you didn't, did you? I bought one thing. Now, <clears throat> give them a close-up look, because they're not like cards, they're like little dots. I don't know if you can it's see that. It's quite soft material, isn't it? In Cotex. Um, it's got a little pocket here, look, right at the front. Very good quality, and I've just looked them up. Any idea how much these cost? New. I got them for ten pounds. Three hundred pounds. <laughs> Didn't know that until now, did you? I've no idea. No. Three hundred pounds for a pair of pants. And you actually tried them on, and they were perfect. Fit, well, gorgeous. They are slim fit. If anything, I like baggy legs, but I could feel the quality. I was happy with them. Yeah. So I've got a right bag in there. Baggy trousers. Yeah, really good. Unbaggy trousers. And you've got a coat for thirteen pounds, which we think's worth about two hundred. I think that's worth about New. 200. I got quite a good 
good amount of stuff, really. You did I've very had a big clear out today. Yeah. Sort of having a day off, really. Clearing out. Three bags of clothes Three for the charity. Three bags of clothes for charity. Got rid of about four or five coats, handbags. Just sort of decluttering, really. And you bought this the other day oh, from this is um, just Tesco's. Yeah. Tesco's. Looks yeah, very nice. I do like you, red. Right, yeah, let's so, show them the food we got yeah. in Henley. So this shop, I can't remember the name of it. I can't remember. No. I've, cook. Cook. Cook food. That was it, cook. <laughs> so we got all this. This is going to be today's tea. Now these were all reduced, look. Was £2.60, so half price. But Gross they're all frozen, you see, yeah. so they'll be fine. They're still sort of frozen. They've been in the fridge overnight, but... Roasted carrots with orange and thyme. Sounds beautiful. Uh, roasted roasted par parsnips. parsnips. That's more for Mazzy. I love parsnips. Good price on those. This is more for me. Brussels sprouts and buttered leeks. Well, you say that. We both love this, yeah, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> but this is quality stuff. Yeah, and creamy, creamy mash. mash. And now for the main meals. Now, I think I've made a mistake, but you got this. Oh, I'll this. show you mine then. Steak and stout stew with, like, little dumplings. Very nice. Very good. I'm looking forward to that. And I made a mistake. I think you did, but... Moroccan spiced harissa chicken. Now, now I don't know what harissa is. I've never heard of it. But I just saw, like, pine nuts on top or something, and it looked nice. But then Mazzy's looked into the ingredients, and it's aubergines. I don't like aubergines, so I'm going to have to pick the aubergines out. But you do like chickpea dishes, don't yes. you? Whereas I don't, so, so it could be nice. Could be nice. So we're gonna probably have that today. Honestly, they have things there which is like for eight people. All right, they're like how much were they? Twenty-five quid. If you're buying a no, no. If you're buying like let's say shepherd's pie, it was about thirty-five quid. But it feeds eight. It's a lot of money. <laughs> and it's homemade. But I'll tell you what, if you have got a family coming over for Sunday lunch or something, yeah. and you can get that for thirty-five. You'd spend that, wouldn't you? On just, just all the ingredients you like, for eight you people. Cooked it, they'll never know. They wouldn't know <laughs> because this is quality, quality stuff. So. Buzzing. Can't wait yeah, for that. Yeah, buzzing. Can't wait. Sorry, by the way, I look, I haven't done anything with myself today. You look beautiful. It's a day off. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you. Well, I'll get this lot back in the fridge. So, we will leave this video here. Uh, join us for part two of Henley. Yes. Definitely need to take you to the churchyard. Tell yep. you all the famous people who come from there. And Because we've done, like, the shops, but we haven't done... Well, there is still the a road. riverside. Yeah, there is still a road, a, a road left to do, isn't there? There's still quite a bit to do, basically. Um, but the riverside looks, you know, it's famous for its rowing, and I'm sure it's a nice little walk down there. So we'll go to that side of the yeah. town. So yeah. thanks for joining us. Yes, yeah, see you We love you all to bits. Yeah. You take care. Thank you all. Bye, bye. Bye. I think they've gone. Good. <laughs>